When I found out four years ago that I was a type 1 diabetic, I never thought I'd be able to be here and like get this experience. It's so cool that like that really didn't matter in the end. I'm Ellie Magestro Kennedy. I'm a guard for the Wright State women's basketball team. It was an early conversation and we weren't worried about um, that being a factor at all for um, her playing college basketball here. She's an extremely independent young individual and, and assured us that, you know, she's fully responsible and aware of how to, how to check her insulin levels and, and make sure that she is, you know, safe to play always. I have to prick myself and then I just put some blood in there. I got five second countdown and we see what my blood sugar levels are at. I wear a CGM, which is a continuous glucose monitor, um, and that just records my blood sugar levels. It reports to my phone, and it'll go off if I'm high or if I'm low, which will determine if I need sugar, if I need to take insulin. You see it more and more common. I think athletes are now you know, not afraid to compete with that. And obviously with monitoring um, that they allow, now you can kind of get instant information that you need if you are getting low and I know Ellie always has that on her phone and has it um, you know beeping the minute that she starts getting low and she runs off the court and takes care of it. They're learning along with the coaching staff like you can really help someone out just by knowing like oh that person's low I can hear their alarm going off or when they're acting funny like and so it's cool to know that all these girls have my back and that even when they go out into the real world, they'll be able to help others. I'm so pleased that she's a part of our program um, and I'm so happy that uh, all of us are being educated more about type 1 diabetes and I know I've, I've benefited a lot from that.